All right, folks, how's it going? First thing I want to say, if you have not watched my video on how to set up your Monoprice software and um, Cure, please go watch that video first, follow all those instructions, then come back to this video because that part is necessary for this one. All right? So I'm going to show you two different ways to print on your Monoprice Mini Delta via USB. All right. First way is to, let me go ahead and open this up. So either way, the both ways start with this software. All right, we go ahead and go into my thing. You're gonna download a piece of software called Print Run from GitHub. All right, I'm gonna leave a link in the description below on how to on where to go to download it, and a link to the previous video that you should watch first. So go ahead and click on what if you have Mac or Windows. You're gonna go ahead and click on that. I have Windows, so I'm gonna click on it and save it. From there, you're gonna open up the file folder and right click and extract it like you would do with anything that you're um, extracting then from there you'll go into the folder and you don't have to install it it's just this icon right here you go ahead and double click on that icon and open it up make sure it has a com thing right here where it says icon one two or three and it's dark and not grayed out all right so once you know both of these are established in here go ahead and hit connect and you look over here in this right hand corner you'll see that it says connecting printer is now online so it's ready to go and you can actually adjust the axis and stuff here which I prefer not to mess with it too much but if you um, click these let me move the camera up so you can see what I'm talking about you can actually adjust the axis let's go and type the Y a little bit see that and type back this way and then we're going to go ahead and go back home All right, let's go ahead and move that back down. There we go. Okay. So now that that is established, you can go ahead and go to to Cura. And the reason I'm showing you two day ways because I had an issue with it showing up in Cura a couple of times. Um, for the option to print directly from the software. So this is uh, I'm going to show you the secondary way first. So, you go ahead and load the file you want to print into it. Right there. Make sure you have your mono price selected. And over here, as opposed to clicking save to removal disk, the little arrow right next to it that's pointing down, you click that. And you see, let me go ahead and ask you, this is a perfect example. See, it's only giving me the option to save to file. I'm going to go ahead and do that. We're going to save to file. And I have mine defaulted to save to the desktop. So now that's that's been sliced for you, and that's the G code. Now you can go and hit load file, and then get the G code you just um, saved, which is right here on the desktop for me. It shows right here in the right that it was loaded, and it's going through breaking it down, so on the layers is going to go through and how it's going to print. All right, and you can see it there. It's not going to represent properly in this program. It just doesn't. I don't know why, but it still print, it prints properly on the printer. So I'm going to show you that now. You just go ahead and hit print. And then you'll see all the information over here. It says print started at yada, yada, yada time. And then from there, you're, you'll see your device actually start to warm up and get ready for the print. And there it is. It is warming up and get ready for the print. I'm not going to go through the entire print because this is just a, just to show you but I'm gonna at least let it start up so you can show that it doesn't give you any type of clicking errors or anything odd like that that this process does work fine there are there have been times where an option to print directly out of cure after I'm done slicing the file it will prop, it'll pop up and say print from here and there's other times it just won't I don't it's, it's an odd thing it's an odd thing See, this is giving me these two options right now, but it's sporadic. Where it'll prop up in there, so it's best just to go the route I just showed you. And the prints will come out fine. I mean, you use that, you have to use two different programs, but it's, it's not so bad. You slice it, you save it to the desktop, and then you load into the program and hit print. Um, I do prefer, personally, I prefer like print directly off a 
the SD card because it's, it's, it's more reliable. I'm not a big fan of printing via USB, but I know some people who don't have SD card holders or um, they don't have one the day they order the printer. Um, it's one of the things I disagree with. It should have came with a, a holder, um, a SD card reader, but it didn't. So this is at least for people so you can start printing until you get an SD card reader. But if you watch it over here, it's, it's calibrating just like it would if you were printing directly from an SD card. Go completely around the bed, and then it'll start printing in the center. Okay. Check that out. Works just fine. Like I said, I'm not going to wait for this entire print to go through. I'm going to go ahead and cancel this out. Alright folks, that is all for this video. I just really wanted to um, show you guys if you if you don't have a Mac or SD card reader, how to print via USB. Somebody did ask me a question down in the description of one of my videos. I want to just go ahead and get a video out to help that person out. Um, Alright folks, if you have any questions, please put them in, in the comments below. Um, like and subscribe for more. Let me know if you want to see more videos involving 3D printers. Um, as always, have a great day.